Monday, everyone, or should I say happy Spider-Man 2 launch week. I am so excited. You have no idea. But in today's fix, Pete Hines is retiring from Bethesda after 24 years, City Skylines 2 is being released despite having known performance issues, and a new console is coming soon that will let you play N64 games in 4K. <laughs> We're starting off Monday with some big news. Pete Hines, one of the key executives at Bethesda Softworks, just announced his retirement. Bethesda's official X account posted the news in a statement dedicated to Hines' work at the company. The post said his contributions have been integral in building Bethesda and its family of studios into the world-class organization that it is today. His vision helped push us forward and his hard work inspired us. Hines also posted on X his own personal statement saying, I am retiring and will begin an exciting new chapter of my life, exploring interests and passions, donating my time where I can and taking more time to enjoy life. This is certainly not goodbye by any means. My love of Bethesda and its people have never wavered and I will never stop being a part of this incredible community we have grown. Hines also mentioned that this wasn't an easy decision, but that after his 24 years at Bethesda and especially after the incredible launch of Starfield, he felt the time was right. Hines joined Bethesda Softworks in 1999, where he was the Senior Vice President of Global Marketing and Communications for over 23 years before he was promoted to Head of Global Publishing last October. Back in 2020, Hines expressed his support for Microsoft planning to acquire Bethesda's parent company, Zenimax Studios, saying they were the perfect fit for Bethesda and would allow their studio to make even better games going forward. Hines did a lot for Bethesda, so his decision to retire makes sense. Hopefully, he's able to to get some nice vacation and quality time with his family following this decision. City Skylines 2 is launching October 24th on PC, and the developer and publisher have stated that the game have performance issues, but will be released with them anyways. Developer Colossal Order and publisher Paradox posted that City Skylines 2 is a next-gen title, demanding certain hardware requirements and that they were not able to achieve the benchmark they targeted. The statement comes from Colossal Order wanting to be transparent with players as the game launches next week. Colossal explained further that it felt releasing now was the best way forward and that they were proud of the unique gameplay and feedback features in City Skylines 2, and the players would enjoy it. An additional note to press provided the explanation that, quote, Colossal Order and Paradox are 100% aware City Skylines 2 requires high-end hardware for high-end performance, and they want to ensure players are also aware of this. They're going to keep working on performance as more feedback is received from players worldwide, but the game is not being delayed, and so players should keep the recommended specs in mind. This announcement comes after last month when City Skylines 2 was delayed on the PS5 and Xbox series from October to spring 2024. Hopefully the game is fun despite performance issues and the updates come quickly to resolve any major problems. The next console is not next gen, but will play your favorite N64 games in 4K. The Analog 3D was announced as the most advanced version of the Nintendo 64 to quote, create incomprehensibly profound original display modes. Analog, the company behind the console, confirmed they partnered with 8BitDo, a gaming peripheral maker, to make a wireless controller for it. Analog didn't show too much of the console with the announcement, but a few teaser photos were released. The Analog 3D will be 100% compatible with every N64 cartridge, regardless of region, but will not play copyrighted ROM files. The N64 was released back in 1996, and there hasn't been any other way for Nintendo fans to play the console's game cartridges natively, but now there'll be an option for players sometime next year when the Analog 3D launches. I haven't been able to play a lot of older games because I really wasn't allowed to game as a kid, and when I was three years old, that's when the N64 launched. So. This sounds like a really good way for me to go back and potentially play some classic games I missed as a kid. What was your favorite game growing up? Mine was Banjo-Kazooie, but I could only play it when I was over at a friend's house. But now I'm an adult and I can spend way too much on video games and report gaming news to you. Speaking of, if you want more gaming videos to watch, check out our Spider-Man 2 review from Simon Cardi that was published today. I'm Stella Chung, keep on gaming, and I'll see you next time.